just going to be a quick walkthrough of the currently existing physical hyper puzzles or physical 40 puzzles. Sorry if you can hear rain in the background. It's coming, it's coming down pretty hard right now. So there you go. So first we start with the 2x2x2x2. Two by two by two by two. Um, so for this we just have like our simple rotations and simple twists of R and L cell in any direction. Um, axial twist. And then these, oh. Then there's these like 180 degree flips. Um, and those are all the main canonical moves. There are also some of the other 180 twists and um, even this also. Um, these aren't currently like official moves, but they do correlate to one single move. Um, but yeah, just that one is the main one. Um, then there's also gyro. This is just one. This is the one that I like to use for speed solves and everything. So there's that. We can ungyro. All right. So now let's move on to the next puzzle, which will be the two by two by two by three. All right. So for this one, we now have this new layer. However, most of the moves work exactly the same. So we have simple twists of the R and L cells, although in this direction it has to be 180 degrees. Um, so those are the same, and the same simple rotations. Um, and then we also have the same 180 degree twist. You can still do the other ones, they still apply the same way, um, but the same thing applies. Um, and then we also have axial twist like this. And then you can also do an axial twist when it's like long like this. So you could even do like a two layer axial twist or just one layer. Um, and then we go to gyro. So the gyro is weird for all the keyboids. So for this one, what I came up with is we take out this middle layer. We'll do the regular two by two by two by two gyro. And then we do some moves on here. So we do like a D2, and then a wide two, and then D2. Then we bring these to the front, pull it out, and then stick it in there. And then we've gyroed it. So let's ungyro real quick. Just doing the same thing again. which will be the 2 by 2 by 3 by 3. So for this one, once again, the same simple um, rotations and twists of these cells work the same way. Um, and then here we can do these. Um, getting more limited now on what has to be 180 degrees because um, we have like two dimensions that are even and two that are odd here. Um, then we can do the same 180 twists, so we can do like this, it gets a little hard to grab like this, but you can still do it, or on these faces. Um, same thing also applies when it's like this, you can do the 180 twist there. Alright, and then um, we can do axial twists the same way, so we can do it here, always 180 degrees. Um, or when it's like this, we can do 90 degrees like this. Um, and then for gyros, I haven't spent much time trying to find a good gyro for this, so it's really repetitive. So we're going to take this out, and now we have to gyro the 2x2x3. Two by two by, uh, two by and so for that, we have to take out this and gyro the 2x2x2x2. Two by two by two by two. So we'll do this gyro. And then with this, we're going to do the D2, LY2, D2, and then bring these to the front, pulled out. So now we've gyroed this part. And so now we need to take this. And if I'm remembering correctly, we go like this, that rotation. And then we bring these in. 
well, or ow, I don't even know how to explain this rotation, but that rotation to each of the pieces, and then we turn each of these 90 degrees, and then we can stick that in here. So to show that all again, I'll draw it back onto orange-red. So now we're separating out this layer again. All right, so this. this, turn like that, alright, however one other thing that is actually required for this puzzle is that we need to be able to gyro either like one of these pink purple or the blue green colors to the outside so that you can access all moves. Um, so to see what that looks like, first I'm just going to um, go like this, and I'm going to turn it so we have pink and purple, so we can gyro this 2x2x2x3 two by two by two by to pink purple. And then we'll gyro this. It's, the colors look weird here because I actually had to switch out to slightly different shades of orange and slightly different shades of purple and stuff when I ran out of filament partway through the project because when I first made the puzzle I didn't know nearly how long of a project this is going to become. Um, but now that we have it like this, we should be able to go like this and flip them around and then now we have pink and purple on the outside, and this starts to look kind of like the, how the 3 to the 4 looks. Um, but here we can do the simple rotations of pink or purple the same way. It's a little tricky because you have the other layers in the way. Um, to make purple easier, you can always restack this over to this side. And then we can do the same 180 twists. However, you have to make sure you turn around a middle layer. So let's turn around this orange. Uh, okay. So yeah, it'll be like here, you turn around the orange layer, and then you restack this extra bit to complete that 180 twist. Just like that, and then restack there. And then um, you can also, what else was I going to, oh yeah, so for axial twist, you just have to turn the middle layer with it. And yeah, that's there. Um, so let's undo this, so we'll draw back this this back onto the orange red. And then we should be able to do this. And then we're back here. Okay, so now we'll move on to our next puzzle which is actually the 2 by 3 by 3 by 3. Oh, I'm getting more and more threes as we go. The nice thing about this puzzle is all moves are accessible without gyros. So this is because any um, move that would scramble the red and orange, or the largest cell, is actually um, has to be 180 degrees. So those cells don't actually um, scramble with each other. This is like on a 2 by three by three in three dimensions, um, how the, like there's two opposite faces that don't scramble with each other the same way. So for this, that makes our lives a bit easier. So we have the same simple rotations and um, twists of these cells. And then we also have the axial twists. So you can do that in one layer or in two layers the same way as earlier, just like that. Um, you could also think of the two-layer one as just doing the outer layers, um, and then also the 180 twists, like that. And then that's actually everything for this one. It's really nice we don't have to do the gyros, and this puzzle um, makes actually for a really um, simple solve, and it's a pretty fun solve to do. Um, 
That's high contrast to the 2x2x3x3, two by two by three by three, which is actually very difficult to solve, and I actually haven't gotten around to doing a full solve on it yet, um, virtually or physically. Um, but this one is a lot more chill. Then, next, we get to move on to the big one, which is the, the 3 to the 4. So we get to add these fun um, pokey outy pieces. Sorry for the abrupt cut. My phone actually ran out of storage partway through filming that section. So that's kind of fun. Oh, but here we are with the three to the four. Um, so we can do the same kind of uh, simple twists with the green cell like this or the blue cell. It's kind of blocked by these pieces, but we could restack these to make it a bit more accessible. Um, then we can also do axial twists, so like this, and then back, and then we can do the same kind of thing with the outside. Oh, fun. Okay, we can do the same kind of thing with the outside by turning this, and then, and then these pieces like that. Um. And then we can do the 180 twist. So these are the moves that it's really bad at. I'll do it on here. So this here. And then we can flip this. And then we end up having to restack this one layer because we had the um, middle layer everywhere here. Um, so then we can do the same thing. Flip this. And then stick it on and restack this layer. So then gyros are where it gets really interesting. So we will, um, on this puzzle, we have kind of our primary axis. So that's what I would call green blue here. And then our secondary axis, which is like red orange here. Um, so the um, first gyro really is um, actually to swap out what our, um, how these pieces are for that aren't our primary or secondary. So we can really do this and it just changes which are there. I don't know if you'd really call this a gyro, but it's worth noting that you can do that kind of a flip. Um, and so now we're a gyro to swap out the secondary axis. So these orange and red, we'll swap it out with pink purple here, I guess. So we first we'll do kind of one of our, our simple rotations, except taking all these extra pieces with us. And now I'm going to um, take these pieces and fold them in like this. It's kind of coming around the corner and in. Like, oh, sorry, trying to do it one-handed so you can see it better on the camera isn't going particularly well here. Um, there we go. And then to fix these pieces, they all need a 90 degree rotation on the same axis. It's not just like a random rotation, it's consistent, but just to fix the orientation of the three Cs. And now we've successfully swapped out our secondary axis. But what if we want to swap out our primary axis? For this, it's even more repetitive, very fun. Oh, at some point, these... This was probably before I was recording, but this orange and red um, one Cs got swip, swapped. Not sure how long that's been there, but that was pre that gyro. Um, so now, um, to swap out the primary axis, it's going to swap the primary and secondary, actually. So what I'm going to do is take this layer and stack it over here. And so now, actually, all of the pink pieces are in this chunk right over here. So we can take this off, and to correct these, each of the three Cs needs a 90 degree twist. And each of the four C's needs to be twisted 180 about a diagonal like that. So we'll go along doing all of these. And all the pieces that need the correct moves are on two opposite faces. The layer that was in the middle that used to be like our layer like this don't need the correcting piece, uh, correcting moves. Um, so yeah, we're all good with this cell now, so we can stick it back. 
And then the purple pieces need the same thing. So I'm actually going to restack this so we can grab the purple cell easily. And then for all these pieces, we need the 180 diagonal flips on here and the 90 degree flips of the three Cs. this, 90 degree twist, flip, 90 degree twist, flip, 90 degree twist, and flip. All right, and so then we're going to sit this on here, and now we've swapped out the primary and secondary axes. You will notice that these sticking out pieces are now on one of these middle layers. Oh, it looks like I either forgot that one or flipped it the wrong way, but okay, now we're good. Um, this is actually an equally good representation. These pieces can be put um, anywhere along here as long as, well, on any of the four two Cs that are all in here. So they c and that's just like equally as good of a representation. So we could put them there, we could put them here, and that's all good. Um, so there you go, that sums up this quick video. Hopefully, okay, yeah, it looks like it's still recording. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching.